Hello, my name is Josh, and I'm a white hat hacker. Today, I'm here to talk about password entropy and password composition. Password entropy is the measurement we use when we want to describe the predictability of our password and is expressed in bits. The more bits of entropy we have, the more difficult our password is to guess. Password entropy can be calculated by taking the total number of characters available for use in our password, raising it to the power of the length of the password, and then taking the base 2 logarithm. The average person today has at least 20 or more discrete online login accounts, and each of these are secured with a password. If these login accounts are not secured by passwords with sufficient levels of entropy, they cannot withstand what is known as a brute force attack. Let's look at a few examples. I'll start with the word difficult. Now this word is in the English dictionary, so more than likely it will fall victim to a dictionary attack in just a second or two. But let's pretend we actually wanted to brute force this password the slow way and look at the overall entropy of the word difficult. This word is nine characters long and uses only lowercase letters. This means it has a character set size of 26 characters. Plugging this into our equation, we get a resulting value of 42.3 bits of entropy. A typical laptop today can break a password with this level of entropy in under a minute. Okay, so that was definitely too simple. Let's try something a little more difficult. This password is 12 characters long, and since it includes a special character, an uppercase letter, and digits, I have to estimate its character set size at around 72 characters. If we plug these values into our equation, we are returned an entropy value of 74 bits. This password would take our laptop a little longer, 13 days or so in fact. Unfortunately, with the rise of botnets, we no longer have to just worry about one laptop cracking our password. How long does it take when there are thousands of machines connected via the internet, all trying to guess our password, each trying different unique variations until they find it? Only 55 seconds. That seems really quick for a password that wasn't that easy to remember in the first place. When security geeks like myself talk about password composition, what we're really talking about is the size of the character set used to create the password in question. This is because we know of the effect it has on the overall entropy of our password. This is also why your bank's website makes you use upper and lowercase letters, numbers, and special characters when you create your password. Unfortunately, most websites like this only require your password to be 8 characters long. I think it's time we change this conversation. Password composition is definitely important, especially in short passwords, but in long passwords, this isn't necessarily the case. Let's throw out our password composition rules and try a password that's a lot easier to remember. Now what does our entropy calculation say about this password? The only special character I used was a period, and there are no uppercase letters. So the character set size is only 27 characters. Our password length is 31 characters long though, which means I'm calculating the base 2 logarithm of 27 to the 31st power. This produces an entropy result of 147.4 bits, which is almost double the entropy of our previous password. So how long does that take? Your typical laptop will spend 10,000 centuries trying to crack this password using a standard brute force attack method, and the same holds true for a typical botnet. We need to change the rules and stop making it easy on the black hats. It's time for us to all use longer passwords. Once again, I'm Josh and I focus on cybersecurity. Thanks for watching.